And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some fearsome Roz. I think that's how you pronounce it, Roz. We've kind of been debating here in Twitch chat. We don't really know exactly for sure which way it is. So those of y'all on YouTube, there's a lot more people on YouTube. If anybody knows if it's Roz or Raz, which one it's supposed to be, like Raz is an apple or Roz is an awesome, you know, which one of those. Um, I like saying Roz myself, so I'm going to say that. We have a couple couple people think it's supposed to be Raz um, here in chat. Probably a little bit more have voted for Raz over Roz in chat. But I think I'm going to just, since we don't really know exactly which one, I'm going to just say Roz. But anyway, back to our deck. Um, we're going to be playing a Fearsome deck. So we're going to have lots and lots of Fearsome cards. And the... And uh, Shadow Isles, of course, has all those fearsome cards, and it has the Mist Wraiths with the Wraith Callers. Um, but now what this card does is it's going to be 7 mana, and that's going to be kind of the tricky part. 7 mana is a lot, but it does have fearsome, and with the attack trigger, it gives all enemies minus 2, minus 0 this round. That minus 2, minus 0 is going to allow a lot of our fearsome things to get through unblocked and hopefully do a lot of damage to our opponent. We also have a couple of Harrowings at the top end that could maybe bring back a Roz that has died and maybe like a Frenzied Skitter or two also. And so we can give our enemies, you know, minus a whole bunch together with those that have like a really big lethal attack with Harrowing. So that could be pretty good. Um, besides that, we also got Exhaust. That's our other Sharima card. Again, the minus two, minus zero can help us with an open attack lethal. Or this can also be like, this is just going to be a versatile spell that we can use with like our one spell mana if we don't play anything on turn one. That we can use this for removal for champions when we need it. Or that open attack for a lot of damage. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's try this Fearsome Roz. It looks pretty sweet. We're going to go play our five games in Ranked. All right, so it looks like we're playing against another fearsome aggro deck. They're going to have some burn. Our hand looks just fine. Yeah, it looks just fine. They won't get past me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Play the Mist Wraith to block the Legion rear guard. Okay, that's a good start for them. That's the that's the one thing about the deck that I wish that we could uh, do better was is basically one drops. So I wanted to play Exhaust. I wanted because like if we're not really playing one drops, I wanted to have that uh, something to do with that one spell mana. So that's certainly the thing that um, I think our deck could be. Um, improved upon is finding one drops. All right, but exhaust was very good here. Got to kill that Elise, obviously. Otherwise, they were going to level up Elise, and that would have been bad news. Come closer. I don't bite. Hopefully, hopefully it's not too bad, though, right? I hope you're not waking up at like 4 a.m. to catch the streams. Oh, right, I can't block that. Because it's not fearsome. There's nothing to fear. Really? Alright, well, I guess they got another Elise. Smooth as silk. So that one's leveled up. Yeah, right now it's it's 12:44 in the afternoon. Okay. So I guess four three Elise gets to block this Elise. Love the Risen Miss. 
give me the surprise blocker. Like they open attack. That's going to be a good card. Alright, so no open attack. Let's just do this. Make their life a little bit more difficult. Save that Risen Miss. We've made their life kind of tricky. No, attack with the Elise. Come on. This is a win for us. Yeah, they, they're just not really even attacking. That's got to be a win for us. But they're not attacking. Okay, let me do this first. Okay, I kind of have too many Wraith Callers. We kind of need things to trade. This attack doesn't give me a spider, but I do want things to trade. I want things to die. Spitter out from the darkness. No, I don't speak any other language besides English. Because I'm from from the U.S., we don't get <laughs> we're not very educated. Yeah, Roz would be a good draw. But we're forcing Elise to block. That's always good news. So young. Looks like we're ahead. Even if they have... Like, really, they need, like, Stalking Shadows hitting Frenzied Skitter and then multiple Frenzied Skitters. Because, like, one Frenzy Skitter, I still have all these things that would block. I just need a lot of things to die. <laughs> I have so much Fearsome Powder. I got a full house in hand. Literal full house. In hand and in board. And on board. <laughs> yeah, I don't have much of a Texas accent. I've lived d different places in my life, and I live in, uh, like, Dallas right now, which isn't, which is pretty city, pretty rural. So good attack for me. Lots of things died. There we go. Fearsome Roz, 1-0. Oh. Alright, Draven Jinx. So another aggro mirror. That last one worked out really well for us. I don't know if this one will work out as well, but we're going to try. Sorry, Roz. You're going to have to get mulliganed because we need cheap cards. Doom Beast with the Drain is really valuable, but we need cheaper stuff to start with right because by the time by the time we would play the doom beast would be like turn five ish right like because you need to like play something else turn on the nightfall then play it and so again i don't really want to keep a card that i'm not planning on playing until turn five even though it's can be a good useful card to finish out the game black spear is also against both draven and jinx So they have kind of a the weird hand. <laughs> no blocks. Rule 
walls are made to be broken. Like buildings. Or people. You should try blinking sometime. So I want to cast Black Spear this turn, but that, that means I don't get to play Callista, of course. Maybe I'll just play Callista. We, we shall not rest until all betrayers pay. God asses need victims. We'll just take it. Alright, they took seven last turn. We can take seven this turn. And the reason we don't want to play Stalking Shadows right now because of. Ooh, that's not bad. I was going to say because of, uh, you know, Nightfall, right? Like, so we'd want to, like, lead with it right here and then Nightfall it. But. I guess I'm going to go. Prison Miss attack out. Your name on it. That lets still lets me black spear the jinx. So taking down two champions would be really important. Double it? jury rig. Looks like maybe they're emptying their hand for Jinx. If I did have like a glimpse beyond there for the onlooker, I would have been able to do that and level up my Callista and it would have stayed alive. So I don't feel too bad about that. They're only left with just like this little one one. They discarded an urchin and a house spider. I'm happy about that. It's Draven time. Ooh, this is tough. I guess Doom Beast. I don't know. Skitter Skitter is awesome with harrowing. We should still have enough here, some cards. Certainly value the drain effect for this matchup. Watch and learn. All right, so I'm gonna be playing Roz Bloodmane this next turn for the first time. We'll have exhaust to back it up. Three heads and one stomach means a lot of eating. Why do you have to have the one stomach part of that? Just, just, just say like three heads mean a lot of eating. Time for the money makers. Wow, they could have cast Get Excited and decided not to. Interesting. Fight, fight, fight. Raven. Okay, so we're gonna have Doom be second. Um, I guess I'd rather have Callista in play than. This augmented experimenter, you know, drawn three. That like it was looking good until you know until that. That's that's pretty scary. They found a second Jinx. We don't know what the other cards they found are, but that's a really good finisher. Hmm. 
Looks like they're going for level up Jinx. So they just discarded the third Draven. fine with basically having everything but Callista die this turn. I pull the strings. If they're going to attack out. I'm playing Harrowing. Okay. So they're not going to let Callista level up. Oh, I haven't had a Roz die. I should have had Roz die. Because if they just empty their hand and then deal four to me and then it kills the Roz. Yeah, I should have blocked with the Roz instead of the Doom Beast. Yeah, I should have killed Roz. But, okay. It worked out. Because then the Roz like, comes back as like a 6-6. Six, six, and then they can't kill it. <laughs> Alright, more, more aggro. Another Elise deck. Looks like another Spider deck. Again, Doombee's not bad, but I don't really want it early, right? We. It's just that Doombee's is just the kind of card that I'm just going to mulligan, because it's a great card to have late, but not... Uh, we don't need it right away. And looking at our hand, considering I already have like a turn 2, turn 3, turn 4 play... If I don't play Onlooker right now, I wouldn't be playing it until at the very earliest turn four, but more like but more likely turn five. And so I'd rather just have the that's a lot of turns of me not having this two one. I'd rather just have the two one. Now we can block that two two. Yeah, much aggro. I don't know Spanish. I, I use Google Translate to answer uh, YouTube questions that are in Spanish. Or other languages. So I, I try my best. I hope it works out. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to take the 4, go to 14. Yeah, that's just the thing to do. And then make this attack for seven before they can play anything else. Yeah, this, this balance patch for sure, there's been the most aggro before, because a lot of cards that are uh, good are aggressive cards, for sure. Uh, but I, I think there's, I don't think that, like, I think there's a lot of tools that are good against aggro, right? Like, I, I'm i kind of surprised people aren't playing more anti-aggro decks. There's a lot of good ways to play anti-aggro decks that weren't necessarily very good against Targon, and so if there's less people playing Targon, those decks are really freed up. And we haven't really seen those kind of decks yet. And so those are like your, your, uh, you know, like your Brahmanivia, your Swain decks, your Ezreal decks, like that kind of stuff. Yeah, might as well attack with this thing too. So Elise is their only champion. 
explosives primed. It could definitely be a harrowing. Well, not anymore. No, it can't be anymore. All right. So that's going to be like our only time getting value out of this card. And we're going to look for more Doom Beasts with this Stalking Shadow. There's only one other Doom Beast in the deck, but that's definitely going to be the card that I want to see. They had all three Decimates. Wow. Doom Beast! Hopefully they just, they just pass. Basically what they need is they need something to do direct damage and like a Noxian Fervor, right? So like a Doom Beast would be perfect for them. If they if they play Doom Beast here and then Noxian Fervor Doom Beast, that's how they kill me. Really? So just the moment, moment of truth. Do they have Noxian Fervor? They've already played, what, one Noxian Fervor? Yay, they didn't draw it. Okay. See, not a chance. Oh, now we're gonna get difficult. See, this is the anti-aggro deck, right? So like, this is what, I'm surprised we haven't get, been paired more against these decks. Anivia is really good against aggro. So this is going to be a tough matchup. All right, again, Doom Beast, Mulligan, same with all those. We're those are all a little slow. Let's just keep the Wraith Caller. See what else we get. If we did not have, like, you know, we have the attack token. That's why I'm playing this. If we had the attack token turn two, I'd wait till turn two and then play both of those. But I'm just going to pass now. I'm not going to play this one. Good thing we passed. We have the glimpse beyond. Yeah, their their deck's pretty good against aggro. Yeah, this is this is likely gonna be the best deck of the day, right? Three and O. So far. Pretty good chance. Keeps them from getting that blocker. Five mana. Come closer. I don't bite. You're far from your flock, little bird. A bird of prey hunts alone. You will suffer long. Attack! I will endure! Wow, blocking the 1-1? One, one? I guess that's the only thing. It couldn't block any of these fearsomes. And I guess they didn't want to block the Wraith Caller and have it die. This Black Spear has been pretty clutch for us. Let's go, Harrowing. Ah. 
Okay, well. That's too bad. We will try again. Return to us. We shall pierce their treasonous us. Wow. We each died, then found hope. It's not bad. It's not bad. Alright, so they get leveled up in Nivea's. Yeah, that's the plan, second harrowing. It would be nice to have, like, all of these things, like, in play, right? To be able to, like, attack and give all these, like, the minus abilities, but... That's the plan, second harrowing. Let's see. This is round start. These are going to be on this side. So this should happen left to right. So this Blighted Ravine should happen first. So These Egnivia should die. So as long as they don't have like a harrowing of their own. But I think this should die because they should go left to right. Yep. They should have just been patient. Here in your time of need. We'll kick the sand out of them. These old eyes still see far and clear. We, we shall not rest until all the traitors be. Alright, let's give this a try. I guess we missed the Allegiance. We have a Shreema card on top. So that's going to be another Harsh Winds. We still have three lethal attackers. That's their last Anivia in hand. They can't handle it. So we have the three lethal attackers. Wow! Getting the win against Anivia. How about that? More spiders. So we're playing against the lease again for the third time. Spider's getting pretty popular. Glimpse Beyond Gone, and I couldn't keep the others. Look for Elise. Nice. There we go. That's a good one, two, three, four. I know what lurks in the shadow. Worst case scenario is the three two. We could use a bite. But even then we still trade and get a one one. Ooh. Not trading with the leaves. Okay. They dared. That's a great draw. Um. 
Alright, so this this lets them kill Callista. And I think that's okay. I don't think I can I don't think it's it's about worrying about making sure the champions level up. I think it's about getting as much damage in as possible. We are a deck that already goes wide pretty well for the most part. But you would feel like we're a little farther ahead than what we are. They still have... I guess they only have one one more card than I do, but they do have that extra mana. That could be really useful. Okay, so I could play Harrowing next turn if I only spend two mana this turn. Like Mystery. Yeah. It's not bad. Okay, so they are Noxus. You know, they can burn me out. They can have Decimate. I guess they'd have to have Fervor Fervor, basically. But they could have Fervor Fervor. Hopefully not. These Skitters are annoying. Do I even attack with Elise? I think. Whoops. I think so. So I'm going down to two. That skitter saved them. That's, that skitter saved them three life. And they're down to two. I would love that card. Skitters and Doombies. That was such a good card to hit. I don't know if that does that for me. Wait, did they hit? That must have been from an earlier Stalking Shadows, right? I thought they just grabbed this. I thought this was from the, the edge of their deck there. Oh, Stun Spider. GG's. So close. The 3x Frenzied Skitter got me. And then they had the, you know, they had the Doom Beast also. Where if they don't have that Doom Beast since I found mine, you know, ours would have been lethal. Well, we didn't, we didn't draw Exhaust very much in those games. Yes, that very last game, I didn't really have the ability to play how I went with the very early harrowing um and then with the second harrowing like those those took up like those harrowings just took up so much mana that's why the exhaust kind of got stuck in hand there I was planning on playing that exhaust that last turn to try to stay alive but with the stun spider we weren't able to stay alive either way but the exhaust was like the only other time we had exhaust like we basically didn't really draw the card the only other time that we had it we uh, were able to kill the elise that you know against the uh noxus deck before that was clutch right like i think we probably lose that game if we don't have that exhaust on turn three um either that was either like game one or game two i don't remember which one it was we were also able to kill a draven with the draven jinx with the exhaust um 
and that was you know that's pretty important because you know it's draven and we weren't gonna ever be able to able we weren't able to ever block that draven so and it was like a 5-3 draven also um i was i was happy with the exhaust i i was we like i said it, it killed the elise killed the draven just that that last game we weren't able to use it because of how mana hungry harrowing is no exhaust is definitely better than rennington's champion spell because this can because you can also use that minus two minus zero to keep things from being fearsome so that you get to attack through and like that's that's like the the goal of our deck right of like having all these fearsomes and making it really difficult for them to block um so that's going to be better than the ruthless predator with a plus two plus zero where you're gonna have times where they won't be able to block and the other thing is like the one mana is really important because this this deck kind of starts at two we only have onlooker for the one mana and so if we don't have onlooker there's a lot of games like where we just have one spell mana because then we go like elise into you know whatever into Callista and stuff then we play our twos and threes and fours and stuff like that and so you have that one spell mana sitting around and so that's why exhaust is pretty clutch costing the one mana we thought about playing that card and the person that donated this deck has played that card quite a bit right of dominance um, ended up I wanted to play exhaust instead because of the the one mana I just think that's that's really key and then you know like the burst speed one mana I really like that quite a bit um yeah that that last that last game right of dominance would have been better than exhaust because that that last game we would have had that right of dominance for like how they went wide and everything it would have been better I we would not have won with right of dominance because if I if we had right of dominance that last game I would not have been able to play a blocker also because it cost me a lot of mana to find the blocker so I would have only been able to have this. They go the stun spider, stun the Elise. I don't get to block with the Elise. Um, you know, they still kill me because I was at four. And uh, they still have four damage there, even with everything getting minus two, minus zero. Because they had a, a three power, a three power, and a four power. Okay, but besides that, i um, very happy with how our deck played out. I, I really liked that Black Spear. That, that was pretty clutch for us. I liked the Risen Mist. I wasn't sure, like, if three Risen Mist. I was thinking about going, like, two Risen Mist and then, like, three Glimpse Beyond. But, like, the Risen Mist was pretty nice with the, uh, like, Burst Beat attack. Uh, it was very important. We had, like, a spot where, like, maybe a Burst Beat block would have been important. Roz was sweet. I kind of wouldn't mind i don't i kind of wouldn't mind three raws i don't know <laughs> i'm not sure it is seven mana so maybe not but doom beast was also just incredible we should probably find room for a third doom beast especially with stalking shadows for that late game uh, we never drew mask mother mask mother is in here for eating like wraith caller and then turning into a six five fearsome which is pretty nuts like that's what we were going to try to do but we weren't able to do that um also with the ephemerals that you get from stalking shadows you can you know eat an ephemeral with the mask mother as well like let's say like if you stalking shadows and hit like onlooker you can play like then one mana onlooker one mana you know ephemeral onlooker two more mana eat the four one ephemeral and now you have a six three mask mother fearsome for just two mana so like that kind of stuff. We were thinking about doing that, but I think I would I think I would honestly just kind of take that out and just make sure to play another Doom Beast because of how important Drain is. It could have been that we we're just playing against all those aggros, so that's why it was so good, but also even against the controls, like getting that extra reach is is really nice in the deck. So All right, so that's that's it here for Fearsome Raz. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and of course leave those comments. First, if you know for sure the the correct pronunciation for this card or like the way that uh it's supposed to be pronounced feel free to put that in the in the comments um it may be raz i hope it's raz if <laughs> it's one of those uh, but besides that this deck looked pretty good i think that that the blood main was a very good finisher at the top end of the fearsome deck and so i was pretty impressed with it so that, that was really cool all right but anyway that that's all i got here for fearsome raz so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video